So I have had the privilege of being with Roger Black at one of the performing property events and something which inspired me was the, the talk they gave on growth mindset versus a fixed mm -hmm. mindset and honestly inspired so many 20 and 30 year olds in the room. So if you could talk Roger please to that space into yeah. the 20 and 30 year olds who don't, may not understand the difference between a growth mindset yeah. and a fixed mindset. Okay, as is often the case, it, it's the simple stuff that is the most effective. Um, there was a research, research done by a, a professor in America, I think her name is Carol Dweck, one of these, these studies over many years about what is it that makes certain people really successful in business or whatever, and other people not quite do it. And you know, all the analysis came back in the end to one thing, which was that people who are what we call successful have a growth mindset. And people who kind of aren't or stagnate have a fixed mindset. And it's very straightforward. If you have a fixed mindset, you're somebody, you know, you go do, do, do your education, you say, this is, I know what I know, this is what I do, and this is enough. If you have a growth mindset, you're always looking to learn. You're always thinking for those, looking for those little changes of the way you behave, to make improvement, you're always looking to improve. It's exactly the same in sport. Every successful sports person has a growth mindset. They're always, how can I make this better? Even if you're the very best in the world, are you saying or something like that? You're always looking at how can I make it better? That mindset is the difference. And, and it's really important when it comes to property investing because you know it's it's a minefield out there. I mean, you know, no one's got the exact you know winning formula. I mean, you know, there's no such thing as a there. There are formulas for success. If you follow them, you are very likely to be successful. But they can always be changed. Things are you're having to react to things all the time. And if you don't have a growth mindset, if you think, look, I know what you do to be successful in property investing. You buy this, you do this, you do this. You're going to be successful. You might be with some houses but you might come across a situation where actually you have to think differently. You have to think around this situation. You have to talk to as many people you can find to, to, to find the solution. And if you've got that mindset where you're always, you're seeing a, a, what, you know, a problem, uh, but not as a problem, you see it as a challenge or a hurdle that you will find a solution. Steve Back is very good at this. You know what, and I'm, I get a little bit, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do this? Oh my like, bloody really? And he goes, look, you know, this isn't good, but we're going to find a solution. We're going to find a way around this. And that's a growth mindset. You're, and it's just always having that positive mindset to, 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 that there is a solution out there and there is a way to do this better. And, and that's really important. And the great thing nowadays, to where I am, not older than you, but nowadays, when I look at this with my kids, you can find those answers at your fingertips. You can, you can Google any question and you can get some answer back. There are no yeah. excuses yeah. now. Yeah. If you're not sure, just, just ask the question. You don't have to ask somebody, you can just ask. It's all there. And it's there, the information is out there. But if you, don't have, if you have a fixed mindset and you think, I know it, this is what you do, then you're not gonna ask those questions. So you know, follow the system, there is a system that works. But also have that inquisitive growth mindset that makes you, you, you know, keep looking for new solutions. And is that something students who go through performing yeah. property will find uh, people to help them move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset? Absolutely. And, it's not what, something and what you'll see from the team of performing property, the people in the room who are, who are delivering the, the, the programs, the people at the back of the room who are helping, they've all been there. And every one of those people, they have a lot of things in common, um, but what they do have is they all have a growth mindset. They are not, they're not um, being complacent. They're not sitting, sitting back and saying, I've made it, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. You know, you have to have that edge, that slight, you know, always I want to learn, I want to do better. Yeah, because uh, to have to get Olympic medals, you have to have a growth mindset. You can't just sit there and wait for the medals. You, you, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I think it's the same with property. Um, you know, it, it, there's so much stuff out there. And, you know, where do I invest? What part of the country do I go to? What do I do? Do I do... Buy to let? Do I do houses of multiple occupancy? Do I do social health? What do I do? It's a, you have to bring it all together, work it out, and then make your decision. But have that mindset that just keeps moving forward. Um, or in you know, sport, if you, if you think you've had a winning formula, you're going you're to get beaten. And it's, and it's probably the same in property. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that.